Hi, Gary Jenkins here. You like my hat? <laughs> it's made out of badger hair. I bought this when I was teaching up in uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show you uh, a painting I'm working on. This is a big painting. It measures uh, 36 by 36, so it's a, it's a biggie. So uh, let me go over to the camera and I'll zoom in and uh, tell you a little bit about uh, what's happening up there. Remember, this is a 36 by 36, so it's a, a huge canvas. Let's see, let's go in. And I'm working on a hummingbird that you can see. Maybe I'm getting a little closer. The background is all acrylic. And uh, the bird is done in oil. Now the bird, the hummingbird isn't finished yet. He's just sort of laid in there. Well, let's back up and we'll roam around the painting here a little bit. Now, remember, it's it's a biggie. Let me show you my hand in here, and you can get an idea of the size of this canvas. Now, over here, where you see sort of a watercolory look, this is done with a, a bottle uh, with uh, water in it and a spray bottle. And to, to soften these edges up, I went in and sprayed the edges so they would soften into the background. Now the background is just white canvas over here. Here you can see where I, I took a paper towel and wiped it back just to give me a hard edge. So, let's take a look at the top. You can see some purples, blues. I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet. It's going to be flowers. And I sat looking at this painting uh, the other day and I said, take a look up here. You can see these look like little white flowers up here. Uh, maybe some geraniums uh, over here. The painting will tell you what it needs. Over here, I'll probably have some leaves, but the leaves are going to be blue. Yeah, blue. Everybody thinks in terms of a realistic. Well, if you want that, you know, take a photo. But I can see some blue leaves coming out, fading back into the background. Now, a background like this feeds the imagination. It, it makes you, it's it's food for thought. Maybe down in here I can see some purple flowers. I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> it's just being born. Let's come on up this side here. If I can get it to come up there. Yeah, let's go up. There we go. You can see the white of the canvas. Now, this is interesting. Let's see if we can back up. That the neutral color back here, which is just the white of the canvas, guys, uh, really shows off the color inside. So, I'll, And I also brought it over so that the design breaks out and it's not just a pigeonholed inside here, but it spreads. It's like it's living, it's moving on out. Here, uh, again, it comes out into the white of the canvas. And I really like this edge that I sprayed where it really just sort of fades away. Look at the colors in there. So I'll, when I start the painting, I'll probably get some purple mauves going. I don't want to cover the whole background because the background is so cool. Sometimes we get too much in the painting and uh, we lose the effect of the background. So I'm going to incorporate the flowers in and work with the background so that it's not just flowers and we start to lose the, this wonderful feeling we have back here. I'm gonna to try to work with this background. So <laughs> I see myself on the monitor and I go, whoa, that's, that's a crazy guy out there. Well, you know, you guys know I have the option of, let me show you, this is hair, no hair, hair, no hair. <laughs> I have the option of being having hair or just being bald, and you guys with hair don't have that option. 
Anyway, <laughs> enough of this nonsense. So stay tuned. I'm going to put this up on, uh, do some editing on it. Put it up on Facebook so you guys can see it. And then when I get a little more into the painting, I'll do another little video of it so you guys can see how the painting progresses through the different stages. Yeah. Take care out there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.